she's also our professional photographer. We'll be taking photos of all the stuff we see throughout the trip. And uh, once we get back in the harbor, she puts together a slideshow for all of you to enjoy at the end of the trip. And I'll remind you all about that later. We also got Matt on board. He's downstairs in the galley bar area. If you guys want something to eat or drink, it is open. It's full bar, especially cocktails, beer, wine, of course, not alcohol and beverages, hot beverages, and assorted snacks. And we do take cash and credit. benches, tables, or chairs. Also in the bow, which is the forward part of the boat, there's a raised portion. Uh, we do not allow anyone to stand on that or the step. And uh, once we get out here, guys, we can start officially looking for these wild animals. Each and every trip is different. Um, they move in and out of the area within an hour or so. So we tend to see different animals throughout the day. I do talk to other whale watch boats on the radio, like the Ocean Explorer that just passed us. And uh, they will tell me where stuff is. We still got to get there and find it. So if you want to rent some binoculars, we have a last chance binocular rental. That's how I find the animals and my crew. So you can head down to the bar galley area. Matt can help you out with that. It's only five bucks. And then lastly, to all the little kids on board, uh, if you guys would please just watch your step throughout the boat. Don't run around the boat. Don't climb and swing around the poles. And also keep your voices down to your classroom. I don't know what to do with this because my, I, I yeah. Oh, girls, you like it. And she wakes up in the morning and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> she really, she likes boat rides. They took her on her first one of those little. They're gonna come right over to the boat for all of you to enjoy. Look at that. Hello, how you doing? Look off the side, guys. You don't need to come up to the front of the boat. Just go pick a spot along the rail. Oh, 